It is foggy on a Saturday morning. We, it's day two of the San Diego adventure. Our fine ac accommodations for the night had us uh, sleep in well. You want to tell us what you saw, Johnny? Yeah, Johnny. Tell us about the twink that got arrested. So, I went out to go investigate the coffee situation because they said they had free coffee. And then I walked out the hotel room and there were two cup cars, about six cups, and a guy sitting in a chair sitting outside of a hotel room with a straight jacket on. Anyway, we're on our <laughs> way to uh, bus stop so we can catch the Route 101 because we have an exciting big day of San Diego transit planned. rare, decent bus stop. Like, no shelter or anything, but connectivity to the suburban subdivision. Beach access. Not horrible. Our Excelsior approaches. So, the most scenic bus ride in America dropped us off here at Carlsbad Village, and we're here to transfer to the Route 325. It's a bus that only runs four times a day. I think it supplements the, three, the 315, which goes and services Camp Pendleton and other restricted areas that us normal people can't access. Um, we're going to take the 325 to connect to the Sprinter. Um, we're either going to full send on the entire route and get off at the end, which is connects to a Sprinter station, or we're going to get off midway and switch to a different bus that'll take us a little bit faster. So, updates will follow. Boston station is so that. cute. I feel like he has his regular seat on for that, so it's easier to find out when he looks at it. This station is crazy. Because what if your bus is late and you want to make the train and it's just like, well, tough luck. of dips that make it really hard for buses to go through. Fascinating. Because we saw that in Santa Barbara. We did? Yeah. I don't remember. Man. We're deep in the burbs now.
stop requesting. So, the 325 dropped us off here at the uh, Plaza de Real Transit Center, I think. Not quite the sprinter station that we are aiming for yet, but we're switching here to the Route 302, which will get us to a sprinter station. Um, yeah, it's empty. It's a little weird for a Saturday morning. Good NCTD experience. I'm trying to be in the picture. Hi, Martini. Martin's gone wild? What? Martini. What? Martin's become a stripper? Let me speak to Martini. Wow. Alright, bus approaches. I have no idea what we're doing right now. Bro, what's a good place to find? Tell that story after we're on the bus. The less scenic bus ride. There's that Excelsior power. Flooring it and doing 20 miles an hour up a hill. Well, we made it off of the 302 with a friendly driver. I guess he was mad that I flagged him down, so he like, so we had a we had an interaction when he I got said, on. You don't think you know what I'm? You don't think I know what I'm doing? I mean, in fairness, he did drive pretty well, so I guess he does know what he's doing. Anyway, now we're on to Sprinter, my favorite piece of San Diego infrastructure. I love this weird dinky little thing. I love Sprinter. This is cool. Amber the hater. It's like how I hate Caltrain. This is better than Caltrain. Yeah. I'll agree with that. I don't like Caltrain for context. No one likes Caltrain. No. Oh, Man. Okay. It's, like it's so European and silly. 411! Johnny's favorite bus. Sorry. I saw 411. You can see into the into the driver's cab. After a little while, the little toy train brought us here. I love Sprinter. Um, our destination is Convoy Street so we can get some food. So we're hopping on the Route 235. This is an MTS rapid service. It uses articulated buses, goes down the highway. Should be fun. I love Sprinter. They got the good seats on here. Y'all ever reclined on an Excel? Due to the Memorial Day holiday on Monday.
40 minutes later, we are off of the 235, the Excelsior, and we're here to transfer to the Route 44 so that we can get to our next stop, lunch on Convoy Street, or nearby. Anyway, Gillig time. Gillig has dropped us off, and we are walking now to our lunch stop. We could have taken a bus that would drop us off right in front of them, but I decided that I wanted to torture these people. No, I'm just kidding. The bus uh, wasn't going to leave on okay, time. Yeah, we blindly follow him. Yeah, exactly. This is what happens when you let me do all the planning. Anyway, 44 dropped us off, and now it's lunch time. Jen, what? landscape architecture design major. What about Ooh, it? Ooh, that looks like soda. <laughs> what do you think about this wonderful road and infrastructure here? It's awesome. In fact, I think there should be another road or another lane. Ooh, what about more parking lots? Actually, I think there needs to be a parking garage. That's how you can maximize on the space, you know? Oh, yeah, so true. I think skyscraper belongs there, parking garage belongs there. Skyscraper is a little too dense. I'm thinking single family homes. Ooh, that's a good one. Maybe a strip Maybe mall? about three more lanes on that side. Can add about two more on this side. Easy. Yeah. It took me by surprise, but there goes the convoy shuttle. So, even though we're pretty far from uh, UCSD campus right now, Triton Transit still comes out here on the weekends. They operate a shopper shuttle and like a uh, rest like restaurant shuttle for uh, for Amber distracted me. Where are we going? That way. They operate a food shuttle for people to come down to Conway Street. Comes out pretty far from campus, it's cool. It's the last Triton Transit shuttle that I have yet to ride. Anyway, lunch time. The weekend service goes crazy. I love SoCal pedestrianism, but Ranch 99. Jen, are you in love with this parking lot? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. So first you're a flat earther, now you support more lanes, and now you love parking lots? Yep. Now? It's always been like that. <laughs> yeah. Something of the sort. Average sack resident. <laughs> Asian lunch. <laughs> Yeah. This was four bucks. That, like, go the whole way. I haven't seen Boba this cheap in so long. Great find, Johnny. I'm so happy. Post meal debrief. We are changed people. I'm so full. We are changed people. We're not kind to people right now. <laughs> well, Johnny had a really good find. The it was food, great. The food was good. The, it was delicious. Best meal I've had in a while. I the, love tofu. The staff there took me back. It was great. It was great. And now we are so full. Not so full that they're... It's Taiwanese. I just had boba, man. You can have a second one. There's always room for more. Hey, I'm only half. Therefore, I only get one. Well, you can double it. Uh, and it'll like... We don't have to get it now. We don't... Just this is true. We have the whole rest of the day. Girl, there's more than one boba place in San Diego. Oh, I thought you meant this specific. My friend was like, single shot tea, double shot tea, or triple shot tea. You can see your flavor. Yeah. Wow, magic. This is the riveting content my viewers have subscribed for. It changed color immediately. Why is there so much boba? I think all of them come with half the cup. Jesus. Look at it. Stop, stop, do the honors. Do you want to stab it here? Because <laughs> it's going to spill everywhere. Slick. What is it with Asian markets and fish, fish fountains? I feel like they're everywhere. If I totally... And now that we are done with our life-altering amounts of food, we're going to hop on the convoy shuttle. This is the Triton Transit shuttle that goes to, well, Asian market, food. 
all sorts of good stuff. It is the last Triton Transit shuttle that I have yet to ride, so pretty excited for that. We're gonna catch that, and that'll take us to the UCSD campus. So, a 43 bus just showed up, and the driver like stopped, opened his doors, and then saw that none of the six people here wanted to get on. And then all grumpy, he was like, oh, so just standing around at a bus stop? There's another bus that goes here. I guess all the San Diego drivers are just in a grumpy mood today. <laughs> so have um, Wesley, Kevin, our Not carry Josh, it approaches. Josh is coming down here. So I just have a sand coming. Yeah, but the other three are strong. So. Their bus says surfs up on the front. What is this? Lucky. Swap is crazy. So the grocery shuttle has dropped us off here on campus. Um, very happy that it was my final Triton Transit route. That was fun. We were eavesdropping on a conversation about uh, two drivers. What? They were training each other, I think, or no. One of them was getting trained. Couldn't tell what was going on, but it was kind of funny. Anyway, here we are on campus. Bye bye. <laughs> Why? Why is there like destination sign plus card? Huh? They have the destination sign on and then they also have like a card. I don't know, redundancy. Every time I come to UCSD, I always make it my mission to ride Triton Transit. I love this system. It's cool. I applied to UCSD, then got waitlisted. Same. But I wanted to drive Triton Transit if I went here. Then every time I visit, I realized if I went here, I would probably want to end it all. <laughs> I love it. Making our way to the, the, the weird, oh. weird library. Oh, you want to sit in the hammock? Yeah, I really do while we wait for them. <sighs> hammock time. I've literally never used the hammocks on Davis. Oh, um, I used to use them all the time freshman year. Well, they're always taken. Yeah, you have wait. to like sit next to them and wait for a passing period for them to leave. That's the way everything is at Davis, crowded. Yeah, it was get taken. Amber and Johnny are currently in search of a bathroom in the library, but Jen and I might've just gotten sidetracked. Back on the road. We're making our way to the light rail now. There's the world famous cliff house on the engineering building. Imagine if Davis had a regular light rail connection to SAC. Instead of your boys driving the 42. Nope. So, right now our move is to hop on the blue line and make our way downtown because I want to check out the silver line. This weekend's only historic trolley line that they uh, that they run around on the weekends, but it only runs hourly. And the last departure is at 5:07 p.m. So, we'll see if we make it. Ooh, we gotta hustle a little. Oh, Jen's uh in the trenches. We're not making that train. 
Oh, maybe we are. Johnny. Oh, she's not gonna make it. She's not gonna make it. Oh. America Plaza is next. Civic Center is next. The Blue Line has dropped us off here at 12th and Imperial, Petco Park. With all these Padres fans. Yep, they're playing the Yankees tonight. Uh, last night they went 8 0, so we'll see. Um, and we're here because we want to transfer to the like Silver the Line. This is a historic trolley operation. Um, runs once an hour, and yeah, should be fun. So as you can see, they either use restored PCCs or Siemens U2 cars. I don't know which one we're gonna get. We'll see. I also wanted to see if the MTS transit store would be open because they have merch and everything, but... Nope. What? You, you could've gotten an MTS baby onesie. Padre's card is better. Damn, that's rough. So, looks like I didn't read the fine print correctly. It says it only runs on select holidays, not weekends, but I thought it ran on weekends, so. The parts every hour on select holidays. Holidays include all of these. Not today. Man. Tomorrow, there's tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, two days from today. That's too bad. Oh, I guess we can just hop on the green line then. So, I thought it was every weekend, but I guess not. That might've been a pre-COVID kind of thing. So we take the L and hop on the green line. I'm gonna hop on that train there and take walk it to Seaport Village. I did not walk into the pole. I thought you were. I did not walk into the pole. I'm better than that. Uh, so Wikipedia does confirm that it was a pre-COVID thing, that it was weekends and holidays. Tuesdays and Thursdays too. And then during COVID, Wikipedia says it comes back on Saturdays and Sundays, but uh, only on holidays now. This is a green line trolley bound for Santee via the Convention Center, Old Town, and Mission Valley. This may be seats available for when needed. In consideration of others, do not place your feet on the seats. Thank you. Gas lamp gate, keep girl boss. Ooh, the tank don't swim in. Never mind. Seaport Village is next. And the Green Line has dropped us off here at Seaport Village. The silver Line? Haha. -ha. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. So, fun fact, this freight truck here leads to a yard down by 12th and Imperial. And prior to COVID, when Coaster was more commuter focused, they would lay over their trains in that yard over there. But to do so, they would have to run their trains down this, um, line of track that is very close to the light rail line, so it'd be kind of cool to see, um, see coaster trains heading down here. But since COVID, they reworked their schedules and they don't do all that anymore, so, rip. <laughs> we could have stayed here. No, you could have paid to live in the hotel that's right, that connects <laughs> to Pecco Park, you could have or... Yeah, exactly. Oh, true. Get an Airbnb over Forget the ticket, I'm just gonna... Let's get something stupid for Oscar. Like what? I don't know. Anything that looks stupid. You know Oscar's my number one fan. Oh, that's so sweet. I know, right? He's your only Hi, fan. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. We miss you. Come back soon. Oh, it's cool. Shopping. Parking lots. Oh. Is it? Oh. 
Oh. It's not poop, there's no way. Oh my god. All right, run far away. I got it on my hand. Uh, I don't know if I got it on my shirt. I got it right here. Oh, Johnny. No wonder everyone talks about how great, great this place is. This is like the only walkable place Wait, in all of San Diego. Bro got pooped on. Water feature. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I would like to hold him. Hold One time, hurt. someone asked me, "What's the coolest thing you shot with your camera?" I and I had to, bird. and I had to answer, "A bus." So, this is my bird shot. Gonna bite my finger. Well, now that we've thoroughly explored one of the only walkable areas in San Diego, we're gonna walk back to the train station so we can catch a coaster back towards our hotel. All right, imagine driving one of those things. You okay? Good. How's your glasses? My glasses are fine. This face will walk, How's your face, though? Fine. Okay. Apparently, they're like super unsafe. Amber got clocked by the gate. I did get clocked by the gate. What is this intersection? Where? Where are we supposed to walk? I think we have to go this way. Dylan. Historic Santa Fe Depot. Hi. Coaster time. Today I learned for the first time, Coaster has outlets. Never have I seen this before. We found this out yesterday after Zaley lied to me. Listen, I said that they didn't have outlets, and Amber was like, okay, I'll give you my phone that's dead. You can just charge it in the hotel room while they went to the game. Oh, you should have recorded the clip. <laughs> you should have recorded... Oh, with what phone? <laughs> <laughs> this place seems like it would be so fun to live in. Rent is probably 3K a month. <laughs> And with that, we are back at Carlsbad, this time at the uh, train station instead of the bus stop. 
So we're just gonna walk back to our hotel from here after a pretty successful adventure. There's a train coming up behind me. Bye, Johnny. He's still going. Well, now that Johnny's run away from us, should film an outro. What was your favorite part of today, y'all? What did we even do today? Oh, I loved <laughs> Seaport Village. Oh, the walk, the one walkable area of San, San Diego. It was so cute. It was adorable. The water was nice, the weather was nice. I like it. I can tell you what my least favorite part was. Eating, what, two entire plates myself because no one else could help me finish the We food. finished that meal changed, men. Johnny, favorite part of today? Food. I like eating food. That's good food. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.